microbial bodies. So, one of the best, one of my favorite parts of Moyashiman is it gets a little bit gross. But it's kind of fun when it gets gross in Moyashiman. Right, little Mr. Duskin? Okay, are you ready? So this lecture is about how the body, your body, my body, little Mr. Duskin's body, is full of and covered with microbes, and in fact, depends upon them. Of course, I hope you remember when the upperclassmen bruise wine by chewing up and spitting out rice. That's right. And this works because his mouth has the microbes in it that initiate the brewing process. Ew, but kind of cool too. The mouth, my mouth, little Mr. Duskin's mouth, upperclassman's mouth, is full of bacteria and fungi. And some of it is detrimental and some of it's good. And it's not just in our mouth where we find the microbiome, but we find it under our toenails. Of course you remember the scene where Sawaki sees the fungi trying to grow on Hasegawa's toes. Ew. Little Mr. Duskin, do you have any fungi growing on your skin? It's not only pathological fungus that grows on our skin. In fact, there's an entire epidermal microbial world that's beneficial. In the microbe theater, we met these guys, and these are, these are the microbes that are actually cleaning and defending your skin from pathological infection. Now this is a kind of ambiguous, ambiguous critter living on your skin. It's not a bacteria, it's, it's not a fungus, but it's a tiny, tiny bug, an arthropod. It's kind of like a, a tiny little lobster that lives in your eyebrows. I always say, since I met the lobsters in my eyebrows, I'm never lonely. The intestines, the stomach, is an entire microbial world in its own right. In fact, we could not eat or digest food without having a tremendous population of microbes in our bellies. Your excrement is mostly the bodies of bacteria and fungi. We need them to convert food into energy that can be absorbed into the bloodstream. You could say that we have a symbiotic relationship with the microbiome. A biome is like a community of life, and micro is tiny, so there's a tiny community of life in your stomach that you're symbiotically dependent upon. Symbiogenesis is a theory of evolution that says for multicellular life to evolve, it was necessary for some tiny microorganisms to take shelter inside of each other. Sort of like eating half of a meal and stopping halfway and, staying and becoming one organism together. So organisms moved inside of each other to take shelter from their environment. Making habitat of each other produced multicellular life. Take a look at the tree of life as we know it now. So that, that vague point in the middle was all tiny, tiny, single cell or less, uh, not even creatures. And you can see that two of the branches of the family tree are bacteria. And the one branch, the Eukaryota, this is multicellular life. This is our kind of neighborhood. This was produced by bacteria moving inside of each other and forming communities that became stable enough to become organisms, multicellular organisms. In some ways, I like this character from Moyashiman as a kind of symbol of symbiogenesis. This idea of organisms making new alliances and becoming new kinds of organisms in those alliances, moving into each other. Another way to describe evolution is an involutionary momentum. So that's kind of a, a momentum of increasing complexity. Things, they become more involved, more complicated, and more dependent. Symbiogenesis. Another kind of weird consequence of this thinking is that a disease might be tomorrow's evolution. 
For example, there's some evidence that mammals carrying children inside of their bellies is only possible because of a viral infection that prevents them from aborting the child in their belly. So it's like the very possibility of mammals might be partially from a viral infection transforming human DNA. Today's diseases could be tomorrow's evolution. Finally, this week, if you get a chance, you really should look at the book by Lynn Margulis describing symbiogenesis. I think this is, if you have time to read one text this week, this is a key text for understanding how life is made by life moving into life. Involutionary momentum, symbiogenesis. All right, so there's a whole world in your body. It's kind of gross, but kind of fun. <laughs>